So I want to show you some of the draping and also how to do the sacral release and the SI joint release up on the table. So Sibylla, bend your knees a little bit. So I really want to make sure the draping is pretty generously covered up and around before I even get up on the table. I slide up. If you know you're working with somebody who's more modest, you can even have them, here, hold your drape for me, ensures your privacy. So that's if you're working with someone more modest, okay? Tuck, making sure that they're covered underneath. And then I bring her up. I like to hold a little bit um, with my fingertips the drape so she, she, she does feel solid. And then I get, let me have your legs. Get not too, this is too bent. This is not bent enough. You, you, right there. And you know, from here, I can do the teeter totter. I'm feeling where there may be some opening, more open on one side and less open on the other. So because I open this up, I can still feel that this side's tighter now. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. A little bit. So. I want you to gently press this leg up into me and release. You may not be able to do that with everybody because it's a real nuance. It's like they're really joining you at the angle. If you've got someone who just pushes their knee, you, you won't get the specific ligament that we're looking to open. So keep that in mind. The engage, disengage may not be for everybody. That gives you an idea of how to do it on the table. And then I'll come down. And one leg straight. Okay. And then to do the sacrum, I make sure I keep fabric in between my hand and their sacrum. This may be a little bit challenging to see from the angle, but I'm, I'm scooping, and just like I showed you from seated, you can mobilize. And I also, from here, I can get something on. I sometimes will do engage, disengage. So press into me with your leg and let go. Now there's a lot of people hold a lot of tension around with the sacrum. And this really helps um, to open up in a way that um, most techniques don't. Okay. Gently press towards me and release. How's that? Mm -hmm. Feels good, huh? Yeah. You know, and what I showed on the mat, but you could also I'm gonna show you on the table. You, know, you can just kind of rock and transition up the spine. You can even transition down, doing some work. Mm -hmm. That feels good, huh? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I really, you know, if you're gonna do specific work, it's really nice to um, spread it out with you know, some of the integrating it into the rest of the table. So that's the um, SI joint work and some sacrum work up on the table.